I'm Dal Ritchie. I've lived in Japan for the last 60 something years. Perhaps you've heard of American born author Donald Ritchie. The 82 year old has written over 40 books about Japanese culture, and this year alone, both Newsweek and Time have done features on him. In addition to Ritchie being featured on the cover of every major Japanese English language magazine in this country. And for some reason, he's willing to talk to me. You've been to Europe, China, everywhere in Asia. Why Tokyo? It's the largest city in the world. It's the most diversified. It's the easiest to live in, if you know the language. It, it, it has everything going for it. As Richie writes in his 2003 book, The Image Factory, Visitors to Japan sometimes complain about being so constantly exposed to the latest. This is because the latest comes from wherever they come from, and they are hoping for something a bit more Japanese. Indeed, old Japan is now much less visible since there is so much less of it, and new Japan is now continually in your face since there is so much more of it. Something I've thought was really powerful is how you kind of describe the idea of Westerners coming to Japan expecting this traditional Japan and being confronted with a lot of what they found at home. The Japanese are traditional with art, but to the language, that hasn't changed the last 500 years. Right. Look at the attitude toward religion, that's not changed at all. There are many things, many basic forms which are still derivative of that culture we call Japan. After 60 years, is, is there a particular place that often brings you back to feeling like you're an outsider, despite living here for six decades? Yes, naturally. To be seen as an outsider is to be given complete freedom. I don't have to put up with the social syllabus that the poor Japanese do. If I were Japanese, I might not have stayed here at all. The social weight of being Japanese is extraordinary. Japan is a society where everyone more or less has a place, and the place for the foreigner is to be smilingly excluded, as I believe I once wrote. When you're that, you suddenly dis discover that you have all the freedom in the world. I think that's one of the reasons I stayed. Do you have any advice for, for travelers or students studying abroad? Just don't try to be anything. You know, just, just see where it leads you. You're not making a commitment to anything. All you're doing is experiencing. So experience as much as possible. You can sort it through later. I liked his advice he had for travelers. It's important that he shouted at young people everywhere to get out and move. Get out of wherever you are and try to see more. You only have one chance. And this is your chance now to get out and see the world while it's still here and while you're still here. You'll regret it if you don't. Don't stay like the frog in the well. Don't stay in the valley. Get on the mountains and look. 